The kids got to use their imagination, they were stimulated, they could really think in a way that many of them had never had that opportunity before, to just go crazy with some of these skills that they now have as a result of coming to school here. Approximately 50 welding students at Pennsylvania College of Technology employed their skills to create student bodies, abstract human forms that populate the campus mall. The brainchild of metal sculptor and welding instructor Mike Patterson, the 78 student bodies representing various Penn College majors and activities were unveiled earlier in the academic year to help commemorate the college's centennial anniversary. They don't have to look exactly like people, but they should give a, the viewer the feeling of a person who has some kind of a talent or a trade. It makes you think outside the box and it's not just like, you're not just thinking of like a T-joint or a lap joint, you're thinking of, of other applications that it could be in. It opened me to the other, other side of welding, the art side, things that aren't straight and plumb and perfect and getting things for an aesthetic appeal rather than a, a functionality. A lot, of, a lot of what we did here is based on the cool bits that we could find in the scrap bin, so kind of had to, had to build it as you went. For years, I've been uh, just looking at the dumpster every day, and I would say, that's a great piece of metal, that's a great piece of metal, and wishing I could save it, wishing I could save it. And then as soon as this started, I had it. It's like, now we go to the dumpster and let's save that, that, and that. The students welded about 7,000 pounds of scrap metal to construct the student bodies. Most of the 600 plus hours devoted to the project occurred outside of class and the comfort zone of the welding majors. They teach you how to get to the welds that are right in front of you, but then when you have things that are like back behind stuff, you have to figure out the right angle to get to it, and that's really hard. You kind of experience the challenge that you would have getting, getting comfortable in places that really aren't comfortable to be in. The hardest thing was, I'm, a, I'm like the engineering type. Things need to be straight, symmetrical, perfect circles. So to have, I'm not very an artsy person, so to say, Go in a dumpster and find something that looks like a head. It was <laughs> a new challenge. That was actually the most interesting part about it because he would go and like he would look at something and be like, oh, you could use this for this, you could use it for that. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, that's not what I see with it. I see a scrap piece of metal and he sees all these student bodies. If Patterson's goal is realized, campus visitors will see the student bodies for years to come. My only rule was that the weld had to last 100 years. I said, this thing will be here for a long time. Make it so it will hold up. The school obviously gives us uh, a lot, a lot of skills, a lot of stuff to take out in the world. It's just really nice to be able to leave something, something behind. I hope these things last for 100, 200 years or whatever. I could bring my family. It's a neat thing to say that I was part of it, for sure. For PC Today, I'm Tom Spicer.